Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to introduce our workshop. We accepted the first international workshop on multimodality content analysis for social good. So the background of the problem is that within the vast landscape of prosperous memes cultures online, there exists a dark side of pictures where people tend to use online memes as a weapon to spread hateful uh, comments discriminating against minor the demographic minorities such as females. The negative impact not only goes to online sections where it causes psychological distress, but also it can go to offline as several reports have pointed out there is a positive correlation between the enjoying sex and humor and the sexual related crimes. Although the researcher has focused, has developed several state-of-the-art textual-based model to identify misogynist memes, there is a limited research on different modality and even multimodalities. So the main contribution of our paper is that we conduct analysis to understand different, distinct, how distinct the modality contributes to the identification of misogynists. The methodology of the paper is shown in this ar architecture diagram. Generally speaking, we spread the memes into super, superimposed text component and the image component, and then we process them differently to compare the different modalities. And further than that, we process them together with a multi-modality multi model and compare the different, compare the outcomes between the unimodality models and to generate the final results. The experiment setting is shown in this slide. Where you can have where you can have the gold benchmarks data set, the main data set that we are be we are utilizing for these papers. For the fairness of the metrics, we are using the equalized odd, which covers both the sensitivity sensitivity of the outcomes, but also the balancing arrows. Try to con control the balancing arrows of the outcomes across the different uh, attributes. So the model has been used in this case are uh, the bird clip. Uh, map uh, M plug outs and open flamingos. Oh, the last two works as the large language models, between large language models in our experiments. So the result shows that basically the large language model has the best out performance over all the modalities. And it suggests that combining both modalities can generate a better result. Also, the lower uh, tables shows that the result after the fine tuning on the similar Mythology in context, it performs a faster result. That uh, there's a uh, there's a not noticeable huge improvement after the fine tuning, which suggests fine tuning is essential for such a downstream tasks. Further than that, we also covered the error analysis that indicates how the failures of the best model, which is M plug os performances for the different, uh, the confidence for the different failures and uh, success in their predictions. And we also carry out the candidate elements tokens for bias, contribution to the bias, and uh, find out that actually the prediction of the model relies heavily on the each to on the aggressive or uh, indicating tokens to make that identifications. So the conclusion of the paper is that while well, the linguistic perspective carries out the primary information for the identifications, the image, the image modality can still provide complementary information. Further than that, the imagery modality can also show the resilience against the bias as it bias doesn't change after fine tunings, before fine tuning, after fine tunings. And the last point is that without fine tuning, so even a pristine large language model cannot handle such a task. The improvement accuracy performance from fine however, may come with the trade-offs. For more details, uh, you can have a look, quick look, check out our workshop papers.